Israeli farmers have long been known for their innovative methods of producing high yields in this arid land. Now an exotic cactus fruit, usually native to the wet tropical climates, has been developed and grown in Israel that proves to be tastier and more colorful. It's called the pataya. We developed the varieties that add a better color, a, be, a nice in shape and better in taste. And that's what we are looking for. We are looking for red pulp in order to really, buyers will be able to differentiate us from the other. The pataya fruit originated in Latin American jungles. The French introduced it to Vietnam about a century ago, but their variety has white pulp and is pretty bland in flavor. In Israel, new varieties have been developed to improve its taste and compete in the lucrative European markets. Working with Ben Gurion University, Israeli farmers have developed a new variety. Their fruit comes in shades of purple and red, and Safrir says they are tastier and sweeter. There is a trend all over the world now for exotic fruit for few reasons. One of the reasons it's a very healthy, in general, the, exo the exotic fruits are very healthy. Uh, they have the, uh, a lot of vitamins and uh, antioxidants and especially the red uh, types, the red varieties that you saw, they are very high in uh, antioxidant. And therefore, we went on that niche because there is a increasing demand for that fruit. The cacti are planted not in the soil, but in flower pots in order to better control their hydroponics and protect against disease and insects. They also are designing the fruit to have a longer shelf life and grow them year round. The world is looking for exotic fruits, and Israel is trying to get in the market, and it has developed a new pataya, which is this one right here called the Venus. It's rich in minerals and antioxidants, and the world likes it. The pataya and other fruits and agricultural innovations are expected to be displayed at an upcoming agricultural conference in Tel Aviv. Called the Agro Mashov, it expects to draw thousands of farmers and researchers from around the world. For years, Israel has been working to do agriculture in a part of the world with little water and a lack of arable farmland. Israelis have learned how to get higher yields from less land and water. We have groundbreaking innovations, and Israelis want to teach the world. Another Israeli innovation is the new Echo Pack. Made out of recycled materials, the reusable, flexible plastic containers conform to fruits so they are not bruised and are lighter than the traditional cartons or wooden crates. These innovations are just some of the fruits of Israeli efforts to help the world supply itself and its growing population with enough food to eat. This is Arieh O'Sullivan reporting for the Media Line.